Hey guys, my name is Jay. I'm one of the expert PTE teachers here at E2 Language. Welcome back to another week of PTE speaking science. Let's have a look at this week's topic, which is to look at the final ED sound on words, which often get mixed up. It's kind of complicated. Okay, so in week one of PTE speaking science, we looked at word stress. Dog, robot, fantastic, helicopter, personality, where you place the emphasis in the word to make it sound right. In week two, we looked at sentence stress. John will drive to the cinema tonight. The word that you place emphasis on in the sentence to change the meaning. In week three, we looked at chunking and pausing, where you pause to accentuate meaning. Does it really matter whether people speak with an accent as long as they can be easily understood. And last week, we looked at how words link together, like I had a neg for breakfast, a neg for breakfast, and how we add additional sounds like true, war, false, and how we delete sounds with some particular words like used to, we don't say used to, and how sometimes we create new sounds like don't you, and sometimes we combine the same sounds like social life with one L. Well, this week we're looking at the final id sound on words, which is very important. And if you are from Southeast Asia, this is going to be particularly important for you. I'm thinking of Vietnamese speakers, Indonesian speakers, Malay speakers, etc. You guys sometimes don't quite hit the final sound of the word. And that's very problematic for when you're speaking. And that's problematic if you do that in the PTE, okay? So this will be important specifically for you guys, but also important for everybody else. What do I mean by that? Well, in English, the final sound of a word carries a lot of information. For example, there is a difference between want and wanted, look and looked, use and used, Try and tried, ask and asked, need and needed. Really, we're talking about microseconds, tiny little sounds, d, t, d, for example, but that changes the meaning of the word entirely. It's the difference between present tense and past tense, in fact. This is used in tenses, like the past tense, but also in uh, participles, like the present perfect. If I say, I have wanted, or I have looked, or you have used, for example. Okay, so there are three sounds in English for these ed endings. There's one tud, where we make an ud, ud, ud sound. There's a second type where we make a t, t, t sound, like hoped, hoped, hoped. And there's a d sound as well, like played, played, Played. So for number one, we have wanted, wanted, ud, ud. For number two, we have hoped, hoped, t, t, t. And for number three, we have played, d, 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 d. Hmm, kind of tricky, right? Very subtle to understand or to hear the differences. But trust me, if you are saying these words, which are extremely common words, you need to get the ending right. You need to get it right. So how do we get it right? Let's do a little task. I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pen, please. What you're going to do is write down one to 15. There are 15 little listening questions I'm going to give you. What I want you to do is to identify whether the final sound of this word is an id sound, A, a d sound, B, or a t sound, C. Okay, ready? So is it one A, B, or C? Absorbed, absorbed. Number two, eight, eight. Number three, added, added. Number four, admired, admired. Number five, admitted, admitted. Okay, let's look at this now. So for number one, I said absorbed, 
absorbed. D, d, d. Number two, I said eight. Eight. T, t, t. For number three, I said added. Added. Ed, ed. For number four, I said admired. Admired. D, d. And for number five, I said admitted. Admitted. Ed, ed. Very subtle differences there, but Slight and slight as they might be, they're important ones. Let's try five more. Ready? Let's do six to ten. Battered, battered. Number seven, blessed, blessed. Number eight, boarded, boarded. Number nine, breathed, breathed. Number 10, buried, buried. All right, let's look at the answers for six to 10. So we had battered, ed, ed. Number seven, we had blessed, t, t, t. Number eight, we had boarded, ed, ed, ed. Number nine was kind of tricky, it's breathed, breathed. If you had t, it almost sounds like breathed. No, it's a d sound, so it's b. Number 10 is buried, d, d. Okay, how's it going so far? Hopefully you're picking up the differences here between the d, d, and t sounds on the end of, uh, ends of these words. Uh, let's do five more, and then I want you to put your score into the comments below. It's just interesting to see uh, how good your listening skills are. Okay, let's do 11 to 15 now. Calculated. Calculated. Number 12, captured, captured. Number 13, carried, carried. Number 14, ceased, ceased. Number 15, cheered, cheered. Okay, let's have a look here. So it was calculated, tud, tud. Number 12 was captured, d, d. Oh, that one's almost A, isn't it? Captured, d, d, d. Yeah, number 12 is a bit, bit of a halfway between A and B. Uh, give yourself a score if you got either of those. Number 13 was carried, d, d. Number 14 is distinctly a t sound, ceased, ceased, ceased. Number 15 is cheered, cheered. D, d. Cool. How did you go out of 15? What score did you get? Pop it into the comments below just so I know whether you're hearing that or not. Okay, now that you've heard it, let's see if you can produce it. But before we do that, let's check out the rule because there is a rule going on here. The rule is this. Words that end in d or t, you add the id sound. So for example, want becomes wanted, end becomes ended, celebrate becomes celebrated. So we add the id sound if the word ends in a d or a t sound. Words that end in p, f, s, sh, ch, or k have a t sound on the end. For example, hoped, hoped, t, t, coughed, coughed or crossed, t, t. And all other words, words that end in any other sound, end with a d sound. So glittered, inhaled, learned. So that is the rule there. D and t make an id sound. P, f, s, sh, ch, and k make a t sound. A word that ends in any other sound ends with a d sound. All right, let's do some repeat sentences now. What I'm going to do is read three sentences to you. I want you to try and, as you're listening, listen for the id, d, or t, and when you repeat back the sentence, I want you to repeat back with the id, d, or t sound, okay? This is gonna be a bit tricky. Here we go. Let's do number one. So, number one in three, two, one. I neglected my duties.
Number two, in three, two, one. He owned a large resort. Number three in three, two, one. She placed second in the race. Okie dokie, let's see how you went here. So the first one was, I neglected my duties. I neglected my duties. Number two was, he owned a large resort. D, d, d. And number three, she placed second in the race. So just keep in mind that the PT speaking algorithm is able to pick up how you're pronouncing the end of these words. So I think it's good practice to do this. Obviously, memorizing that rule is, wow, it's probably not worth your while. It's certainly good to be conscious of, aware of the different sounds that ED endings can make. Okay, that's the first step is being conscious of it. Second step is then trying to produce the sounds with those particular, uh, produce the words with those particular sounds, I should say. Cool, guys, if you need any additional help with your PTE, go and sign up to e2language.com and think about becoming a paid member for daily live group classes, one-on-one -on -one tutorials, speaking and writing feedback, heaps of questions, heaps of methods. It's all rock and roll on e2language. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not yet a subscriber to our wonderful PTE channel, do click that subscribe button. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon. My name is Jay.